Hello everyone! Again, I am Chani Lucy Marciano, your teacher in TLA subject. For today's video, we are going to discuss the recycling paper through origami method. Are you ready? Let's start! Okay, so what is origami? It is a unique sculptural art that allows artists to delicately replicate their imagination into tactile paper forms. For some, it is likely playing a symphony. It allows composition and performance as an expression of ingenuity. The first basic origami fault is valet fault. This is a designated with a dash line and a field arrow. This is also the bread and butter of origami. All origami models will have at least one valet and or mountain fault. Next is mountain fold. This is the opposite of valley fold. The paper falls to the opposite side. Next is split fold. This is shown with two or more parallel fold lines and a zigzag arrow. The fold lines alternate between valley and mountain folds. Last one is the petal fold. It is used when folding origami flowers. So we move on to the different origami symbols. The first symbols that we are going to discuss are the lines. So what are the lines that we are going to use in origami? The first one is solid black line. This is used to define the edges of a sheet of paper. Next is gray line. This indicates a crease line, the place where the paper has been folded and unfolded, leaving a crease. Next is dash line. It indicates the location of a valley fold. Dash dot dot line. This indicates the location of a mountain fold, sometimes one that is used only. The dotted line is used to indicate an action that occurs behind the layers of paper. Okay, so now we proceed to the another symbols that we are going to use in origami or arrows. The first arrow is black arrow head. This is used to show the directionality in a valley fold. Second is half arrow head. This is used to show the directionality in mountain folds. Next is dash line. Indicates the location of a valley fold. Zigzag arrow or double headed arrow. This is used to indicate fold and unfold. Okay, so the last part of our topic is the basic kinds of origami. The first kind of origami that we are going to discuss is the 3D one. It is one of the most well-known models of golden venture folding. This requires roughly about 400 to 450 units. This belongs to the modular origami. The second one is the modular. Modular means many. This uses more than one piece of paper. These pieces of paper are called units. Each unit is identical to each other for a certain model. Next kind of origami is action. It is the type of origami that allows the finished model to be interactable and able to do something. The number four 
a sweat quality. It's different from the rest because water is needed in making the model. This allows the model to look softer and have delicate curves and folds. The last kind of origami that we are going to discuss in our lesson is kerigami, a kind of origami that includes cutting of paper. Okay, so that's all about recycling paper through origami method. So in this lesson, we discuss what is origami, what are the basic origami folds, the different symbols that we are, we are going to use in uh, origami, and uh, the different kinds of origami. So thank you very much and see you in our next module. Bye!